for researchers and clinicians seeking a fast, reliable, and efficient method for separating lymphocytes and other nuclear cells from whole blood or bone marrow, a simple and easy-to-use solution has arrived. The AccuSpin Histopaque 1077 system. It's been proven in laboratories and backed by a host of products to give researchers flexibility in separating either white blood cell types or cellular organelles based on media density. Best of all, this system relies on familiar, readily available technology, the centrifuge. No need for costly, sophisticated equipment or computer systems. Our cell separation products give researchers rapid access to the mononuclear cells they require for powering downstream applications and performing analyses like flow cytometry, HLA typing, and many more. The AccuSpin tube features a unique two-chamber design with chambers separated by a porous, high-density polyethylene barrier called a frit. This allows anticoagulated whole blood to be added to the top chamber without mixing with the histopaque reagents below the frit until centrifugation. Then, whole blood descends through the frit to contact the reagent, and differences in density causes a clear separation of blood components. The erythrocytes quickly aggregate into a pellet, and granulocytes becoming slightly hypertonic increase their sedimentation rate, resulting in pelleting at the bottom of the AccuSpin tube. Other mononuclear cells remain at the plasma histopaque interface, where they can be collected by pouring off the upper chamber contents or by pipetting. Users also obtain flexibility via the AccuSpin product line, featuring five different kits with a wide range of separation capacities, various reagent volumes, and a number of polypropylene sterile tubes. While proper precautions must always be followed, the AccuSpin system is easy to use. First, after bringing the histopaque to room temperature, pipette three milliliters of histopaque into the upper chamber of each AccuSpin tube. If you buy the AccuSpin histopaque system, your tubes arrive pre-filled. Next, centrifuge the tubes at 800 Gs for 30 seconds to ensure all histopaque is below the polyethylene barrier. Then. Add the blood sample to each AccuSpin tube, pouring three to six milliliters of fresh, anticoagulated whole blood into the upper chamber of each tube. The tubes are then centrifuged at 1,000 Gs for 10 minutes or 800 Gs for 15 minutes, with the centrifuge brake turned off. This should result in erythrocytes and granulocytes pelleting to the bottom of the AccuSpin tube and mononuclear cells banding between histopaque and the plasma layer. To recover the mononuclear cells, carefully aspirate the plasma layer with a Pasteur pipette within 0.5 centimeters of the opaque interface containing the cells. Then wash the mononuclear band to prepare the cells for downstream analysis. For maximum efficacy, the technical bulletin for the AccuSpin system contains numerous useful tips for maximizing mononuclear cell recovery from whole blood and bone marrow. Fast, reliable, uncomplicated with flexibility for laboratory needs. The AccuSpin Histopaque 1077 system offers a comprehensive option for the vital task of isolating mononuclear cells from whole blood.